Good afternoon and welcome back to Geek on our YouTube channel. Now as stated on our unboxing video is our review of the PSVR headset. I've used it for a good few hours now and tried um, as many as the titles as I could play before a lot um, launch tomorrow. I think it's around seven or eight hours for some of the games I've got downloaded to be unlocked including Valkyrie and Batman. I'll perhaps do separate um, videos on those, but these thoughts today are just on my experience with the headset and the demo discs and what have you. One discovery that I did make was that the demo disc that comes with the headset in the box, all the demos there are a lower resolution than the full games. So don't be fooled by that, it doesn't give you the full idea of the clarity of vision you can get especially with um, the VR Worlds which we have here because I've compared the full version which I have along with the one included on the demo disc and this is certainly a lot clearer it certainly sounds a lot better and uh, it's just more engaging for that fact to be honest so what I'll do now is I will start Ocean's Descent uh, you've probably seen this before but it's a good backdrop I think for uh, just giving you an idea of how my experience has been so here we go I'll just jump in shark encounter oh, that's my favorite now before we do start actually as it said on screen then about the tracking with the camera there's a lot of press at the moment that I have read that states that the camera isn't very reliable along with the move controllers now I can honestly say in my room here which isn't set up special in any particular way it's just my living room and this is uh, during the afternoon just after four and it's quite bright the tracking has been absolutely fine and when I mean that I mean I've had no problems whatsoever it's been one and one with my head the controller and anything else that I've used and it certainly was last night as well so when they've been uh, reviewing the headset I'm not sure what's been going on there whether it was early code because there has been some updates um, for me last night and today so I'm not sure if that's had something to do with it but uh, mine is absolutely great if it does ever lose its tracking a little bit, if you just hold down the options button as it says there, it will realign for you. And it does that no matter what you're playing or even if you're looking at the PSN menu. So it will always realign that for you. So it's a handy button to have really. It's a very good to include that. But anyway, let's dive in. Okay, Rookie, this is a recon dive. I've got intel from my guy Connor that there was a lot of offshore salvage recorded in this area. Lots of surface debris. This dive should be more than worth the effort. I'm sensing it could be something big. No one's been exactly authorized to run salvage operations in these waters, so we gotta act fast. Okay, I'm trying to time her talking in between when she talks, because she does gab a bit. Rookie, I'm sending you down with the recovery drones. They'll grab anything that isn't nailed down. I just need you eyes on to assess if there's anything of value once we hit bottom. Okay, one thing that really does not translate from the 2D screen it's to when you put the headset there, on. But we'll be with you every step of the way is the size of things around you. Those drones, which are going around, to try and hey, pull that. can I get a systems check? Roger that, all systems A-OK, -okay, Cal. Establishing link to salver suit in three, two, one. Showtime. Scopes are live and on screen. Like I said, they are a bit gabby. But that drone, especially that one there, that's 
I'd say about the size, if not bigger, than my 55 inch TV. That turtle over there is bigger than my cat. Stay sharp. We may be able to ID what's going on from drone footage. They'll relay anything interesting to your comms unit. Next floor, basement level. Sitting on your home couch and looking at something like that and okay. it's coral. Okay, a lot of movement on the scopes. You're in for a good show. It's literally absolutely incredible. Now this shows off the tracking quite well because that torch is literally wherever I look. And it's absolutely perfect. Something big definitely went down here. Looking at the charts, it's gonna be a tight descent. But hey, you got JJ on the winch and he's the best in the business. I'll just pause this a second because she's going to start chatting again. Now, even this is amazing, this menu. Uh, just a m moment to talk about sound. The, I'm using the little earbuds that came in with the box. I would certainly recommend getting yourself a decent headset, if only for the fact that sometimes the buds fall out. But even with these, the sound is incredible. Definitely don't use any headset that tries to do its own surround sound or anything like that just use bog standard stereo because the headset is using incredible positioning and it really does work I've used many headphones 7.1 and what have you on my PC but with the VR headset it really is positional and it's not vague it's precise you really do hear where things are coming from now to give you an idea of how accurate that is on playing London Heist, with the Move controllers at one point, you're past a mobile phone, which you grab, and you put the mobile phone to the side of your head, literally, and someone is talking to you. And the sound goes from kind of muffled and dim to loud only when you've got it in exactly the position you would have an actual mobile phone. Now, doing that last night, that was freaky. That was really when I thought, literally, like they say about in films, the fourth wall. It, it was like that. It was, the audience in the game were one. It's a very odd experience. This perhaps makes no sense until you play the game and witness it for yourself. Even picking up things off the table was absolutely incredible. So, yeah, the sound is great and it gives you an experience that I wasn't really expecting but is the best sound experience of any interactive media. It really is phenomenal. And when you've got a view like this, which is very clear, with depth, possession, uh, depth perception, I'll try again, with sound complementing that, it, it literally is incredible. So, in regard to the VR, there's a lot of people who are on the fence and wondering, is it that good? I can honestly say I challenge anyone to use the headset, even looking at a menu screen like this, like I am now with this ball thing. And this pad, again, is absolutely identical to as I am holding it. It's very strange. But, yeah, anyone doing this, even sat here and using the headset, I'd be very surprised for them to not be impressed. I think the only thing, the only barrier, is for people who are really sensitive to motion sickness. And I say really sensitive, because I was a bit cautious if after spending this money, I would find myself sick in using it. But I really haven't. And I've actually sought out looking for that, once it wasn't hitting me, wondering was there a certain barrier? where maybe it was a certain game or activity where, no, I just couldn't stomach that. And I haven't. I haven't found my limit yet at all. There's a twinge in my head now and again. It's hard to explain that you kind of feel if you do move quickly in a certain direction. But I think you have that because I think you'd have that naturally anyway if you're in a moving car or something like that. Because this is completely tricking all your senses. You literally are here in this space 
because this pretty much takes up your whole vision, the illusion is absolutely complete. And that's what it is. You cannot get a more immersive experience than this. The next step would be some kind of gloves, I guess, in regard to uh, where your hands literally are. But again, in London Heist, using the move controllers for that, the hands were perfect for where the move controllers were. And that was amazing. It really was a good experience. And with this, again with VR, the fact that you can move your head and focus in on things. In London Heist, I was looking at the couch and inspecting the leather on that. It It's absolutely phenomenal. Now, if they support this and keep bringing out the titles, I think it will definitely be more than just a gimmick. People liken this to 3D, because 3D was dropped eventually, admittedly, but what you don't realise is, yes, this vision is 3D, but it's all around you. With the sound and that, you literally are in the game. If you had a solid title like Star Wars that you were playing, it, you would be there. And what's really freaky, which I found last night, is when you think back on what you've been playing, it's memory of you like being in a place. Because when you're replaying it back to yourself, it, it's everywhere you were looking and everything that you were listening to. So it's as real to you as any other memory of, say, going to the shop that day or anything like that. It's not a memory of you sitting on the couch looking at a screen anymore. It's you being in a place that you were interacting with and listening to. Now that was a little bit strange. But it because it's tricking your brain, these are the kind of things that I think the people who are making the games now are trying to tap into. I really do think they could frighten the bejesus out of someone with this experience. I think they'd have to be really careful. Because after a while, you, you kind of do start to forget, really, that you're playing a game. And that is really thrilling stuff for me. Anyway, I'll give you a few more minutes of this, and then literally I'll end the video. Because like I said, there's many videos out there that you can watch. Uh, you really have to get the headset yourself to get an idea of this. The main points that I could stress to you, if pushed, would be that it's very comfortable, the sound is excellent, the screen is clear, get full copies of the games, don't rely on that demo disc. I'd actually suggest maybe not using the demo disc to begin with, because it may give you the wrong impression. So if you get a bundle, try one of the proper games because that is is fidelity and vision and sound will be ultimately superior so yeah this is a very happy purchase for me and i look forward to more titles in the future i'd never tried vr before this so i'm a firm believer i have no doubt that things like the vive could give you perhaps clearer visual because it, it it'll be on the power of a pc but i don't think the headset will be as comfortable as this one and I don't think it'll be as easy to set up and use certainly not sat on the couch like I'm doing now so that's enough from me I'll leave this on for a few moments more and then I will leave you to the rest of your day so I thank you for watching we will be uploading more videos and uh, feel free to visit us on Facebook on our group and store page and the links can be found on our YouTube profile. Enjoy the rest of your day. Coming your way. We're getting multiple pings on the scopes.
lots more debris. Something big definitely went down here, and it looks recent, too. Connor, where the hell have you sent me this time? Whoa, the seismometer's just lit up for a moment, Cal. Uh, something's moving around down there. Thought we'd lost you for good down there, Rookie. Good to have you back online. 